This is the Palin Update on Saranet Radio. I'm Kevin Shola. My faith, my family, and my freedom as an American are the most important things in my life. You think you know Sarah Palin? Not so fast. A new book is out by a couple of guys who have an up-close and personal perspective on the governor. How do they get such exclusive access? Well, they happen to be her brother and her dad. Chuck Heath Jr. and Sr. have written the very warm and enjoyable Our Sarah, Made in Alaska. And we will talk to both gentlemen on our next episode. Sarah's dad will be here today. Governor Palin's brother is here. One of the authors of Our Sarah, Made in Alaska, Chuck Heath Jr. Welcome to the Palin Update on Saranet Radio. Well, thank you, Kevin. Good to be here. Really, what a wonderful book you've written here, sir, with your dad. First of all, I know you like to talk about your sister, Sarah, who you are so proud of, but was it even more enjoyable in this book form because not only did you get to reminisce and remember all the great times with Sarah, but you did it all with your dad, Chuck Sr.? Yeah, that was one of the highlights of, of doing this project. Uh, it it really brought us closer together, um, you know, searching each other's memories and... and um, and seeing what we could come up with, uh, we ended up coming up with close to a thousand pages when we were when it was said and done. But we had to condense it down to what you uh, what you had in your hand there. So we hope you we hope you like it. Well, I enjoyed it, and I you know only got mine I guess a few days before uh, today. So uh, you know I really got into it right away. And with my schedule, that's not so easy. But I knew that I wasn't going to be able to put this one down. So. Uh, you really cover everything here, from childhood days to the Palin Heath family journey through national politics. But you're an athlete, so I do want to talk a bit about the sports angle that uh, was devoted to this book a bit. Did you did you like having sisters growing up that played basketball? I mean, you know, some brothers and sisters don't spend much time together because they're involved in such different things. But I'm guessing sports really helped the bond between the Heath kids. Yeah, sports was definitely a huge part of our life, and. I think you read in the book there we had a little dirt basketball court right in the backyard and we were out there every single day, you know, even in the winter we were shoveled snow off of it and we were out playing. Um so that helped bring us together, you know, it was real competitive too and we'd have our arguments and and little scuffles, but uh but we all supported each other. We went to each other's games and it, it was a huge part of our life. Why did you want to write this overall? Is is the misrepresentation of the Palins up there giving a true picture of the family? Well, you know, the there was a lot of reasons. First of all, I'd bugged Dad for years before Sarah even hit the national spotlight um, about writing a book about just the crazy adventures we'd had our entire life. You know, he he being a longtime guide and. Um, just he just had a great background, and he always tells stories. So I wanted those put down. And then uh, four years ago, when Sarah hit the national stage, we had to sit back and listen. You know, as book after book, article after article was written, and just trashing her, and people totally uh, miscategorizing miscategorizing her, uh, distorting her record. Um, people that didn't even know her writing all this trash about her. I'd heard there's at one time or there was over a hundred different books written about her and only a few of them were positive. And I think Dad said earlier, two of those were written by Sarah herself and one by a, a lady named Kayleen Johnson. And other than that, nobody really knew the inside story. So Dad and I started putting our heads together and said, you know, enough's enough. Let's get out there and let's get, grab all her closest friends and family and let's tell the truth from the inside for once. So that's how it all started. What parts of this book do you recommend most to, say, the big Palin supporter who may think they already know all there is to know, but maybe something that would surprise even a huge Palin backer? I'd say uh, looking back at, at different instances in her childhood, just, you know, they're going to have to read the book to see how these different experiences helped form her character, how they made her tough, and and just what a good decision maker she was, even as a as a child. You know, she was born with something a little different than the rest of us. And like I mentioned in the book, my grandmother commented when she was very young that she was going to do something special in her life. We didn't know what it was, but it was going to be something. She just, lots of things stood out when she was very young. 
Was there a favorite part of the book for you to work on? Boy, it was, you know, sitting down and writing a book for the first time seemed like such a daunting task until we actually started putting the framework together and putting it together. Then we couldn't stop, and it was right, 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 and it was, what are we going to take out of this? we got too much stuff. So it, it ended up being a great experience. When you were kids and talked about careers, did Sarah ever mention president or anything like that at all, or is her political emergence something Chuck Jr. as a kid, say, could have never imagined? Uh, well, you never imagine your your little <laughs> sister's going to run for you know vice president or or attain the the things she's attained in politics. Um, you know, like I said, something was special about her. Uh, even though she was in student government in girl state and was captaining all these teams in high school, I still never imagined her, you know, walking onto the national. I never imagined her being a governor of Alaska until, uh, until she put her head down and started forging ahead, you know, and she did, I guess the first thing for me was seeing her as a mayor and the success she had in Wasilla. And that was, she, she basically turned that city around when people thought it couldn't be done and she got so much encouragement and support from the friends and family that knew what she had done there and really pushed her into this running for governor. And, and we, we chronicle all that in the book. And you mentioned her toughness. You talk about in the book how Sarah worked in the commercial fishing business. Why is that such an important aspect of her character? Well, it, it shows that she's not afraid to get her hands dirty, for one thing, um, it didn't matter that that was mostly a man's world, that nothing was going to stop her. She saw the guys out there making money, you know, working hard, and so she jumped right into it. And and uh, and like I say, in the book, Our Sarah, you're going to read all about that. So she is to so many people a hero now and a leader, of course, in the conservative cause, but you're her big brother, and as a big brother myself, I know how that relationship goes how have you dealt with all of the attacks against your sister over the years? Has it been even tougher because do you even think back to the days of, you know, just you talk about that dirt basketball court. Is it, you know, that playground mentality sometime too? Like, Hey, you know, back off here. It's been really tough at times. It's my blood's boiled hearing some of the things I've heard, especially out in public and, and somebody that has no clue about what they're talking about yelling out some, falsehood that they heard from some lamestream source and um and and you know all the profanity just this grossness that, that you want to retaliate but that's exactly what the lamestream wants you to do and and we were told that later on you know you've got to let this stuff roll off your back and and we have and as much as it is hurt um i guess this is our little our jab back now because this book is going to set a lot of people straight you all have been unbelievable in that category, from Todd to yourself to the kids. It's really been amazing. Uh, Chuck, what would you say is the most fun you had with Sarah when you were kids? Is there something in particular that was uh, most special to you or just, you know, the best times as far as having a good time? Uh, there were so many different things. The the constant hunting and fishing trips and, you know, sitting around the campfires. Um, I remember making homemade ice cream out in cabins in the woods, um, ice fishing trips in the winter, uh, just all the sports trips. There were the, the different church activities. There were so many things that we did together. You know, dad got rid of the TV in the, in the summertime and, and we were out on constant adventures. Well, uh, I guess the winter didn't slow us down either, but, um, but there were just so many different things that bound us together. Well, this is such a great idea, and I'm so glad it's a reality now. And you'll be promoting the book with a book tour. How can people find out where you'll be? Well, they can go. They can actually uh, go to Facebook and look up my name, Chuck Heath Jr., and they'll see a, a link to an Our Sarah Made in Alaska page where they can get all the tour information. We've uh, we've got a full schedule of media coming up this week. I think we're hitting eight or nine different cities around the United States, from New York to Florida, all the way back over to Idaho, Washington, Ohio, Georgia. Um, I know I'm leaving something out here. Alabama. Um, 
so so we're going to crisscross the country, and um, hopefully we'll get a good response. I'm sure you will. It sounds exciting. Chuck Heath, Jr., co-author of Our Sarah Made in Alaska. A real pleasure having you here. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Kevin. Chuck Heath, Jr., author, along with his father, Chuck Sr., of Our Sarah Made in Alaska. The book is out now and available everywhere. And for the latest on tour dates and media appearances, head to saranetradio.net. We've got you covered. And don't forget, we will talk with Chuck Heath Sr. on our next show and get the thoughts of a very proud father. Folks, make sure you check out our brand new show on Saranet Radio, Breaking It Down with Bristol, every week on the Six Seeds Faith and Family channel at Patheos and right here on Saranet Radio. Just go to Bristol's blog, that's www.patheos.com slash blogs slash Bristol Palin and saranetradio.net for more information and a complete rundown of episodes. And don't forget, the Palin Update is now on demand and available for download. So just head to saranetradio.net, pick the show you want to hear, and you can listen anywhere, anytime. Well, that'll just about do it for this special edition of the Palin Update on Saranet Radio. Visit saranetradio.net for continuing coverage of Governor Palin. I want to thank everyone here at Saranet Radio. Thanks to Chuck Heath Jr. And thank you for listening today. Please be sure to join us next time for another edition of the Palin Update. And also, tune in to Breaking It Down with Bristol. I'm Kevin Shola. Have a pleasant day.